indeed CATL, the world's biggest maker of electric vehicle batteries, it confirmed this Bloomberg scoop over the weekend. Uh, it confirmed this. For decades, the idea of an electric vehicle built around a universal skateboard chassis has teased engineers and car enthusiasts alike. A single platform, just wheels, batteries, and a drivetrain capable of supporting any type of car, from sleek sedans to powerful SUVs. It promised flexibility, affordability, and faster production. Yet the dream always seemed out of reach, until now. KTL, one of the world's biggest battery makers, is breathing new life into the concept. With fresh funding, real prototypes, and industry partnerships, the long-hyped EV skateboard may finally roll from imagination into mass production. The birth of a bold idea. The concept of a skateboard chassis wasn't born yesterday. It traces back to General Motors in the early 2000s, when the automaker unveiled a futuristic prototype that housed all the essential vehicle components – motors, suspension, steering, and batteries – within a flat, skateboard-like platform. The idea was deceptively simple – put everything that makes a car move on the bottom and leave the top half open for customization. The vision promised incredible flexibility. Manufacturers could build multiple vehicle types – a sedan, a coupe, or even a compact SUV – on the same base. It was a dream of modular engineering. One platform, endless possibilities. Yet despite the excitement, it never reached production. Early versions were overhyped, often portrayed as platforms where drivers could swap entire car bodies for the weekend. That fantasy didn't hold up in reality. Instead, what GM's concept truly offered was practicality. The prototype included a drivetrain and integrated batteries within a structural frame, eliminating many of the constraints of traditional car design. But at the time, the industry wasn't ready. Electric vehicles were still niche, and the idea of shared chassis design felt more like science fiction than sound business. Why the skateboard faded away? The biggest challenge wasn't technology, it was timing. Two decades ago, EVs were rare and expensive, and battery technology was still primitive by today's standards. Manufacturers preferred tried and tested unibody and body-on-frame structures. Those systems, though heavier and less flexible, were familiar and cheaper to produce at scale. Even as companies like Tesla began experimenting with more integrated battery layouts, the universal skateboard model still didn't take off. The market demanded complete proprietary designs. Automakers wanted control, not standardization. Engineers often found that while the skateboard approach simplified manufacturing, it added slight redundancy in weight and structure, which didn't justify redesigning everything. Sandy Monroe, a well-known manufacturing analyst, once explained that once engineers dive into development, they tend to prefer full unibody integration. It gives them more control and slightly better rigidity. The skateboard idea required a different mindset, one focused on collaboration and shared platforms. For years, that was rare in the auto world. Everyone wanted to build their masterpiece from scratch. Cattell's big move. Then came Catil, the Chinese battery giant known for powering millions of EVs worldwide. In 2024, Catil's subsidiary, CL, unveiled its own version of the skateboard chassis. But this time, it wasn't just another concept. It was engineered, tested, and funded to become a real product. Within three months of launching its external funding round, CL secured $280 million from a mix of investors, including Bu Capital, Guotai Junan Securities, BIAC, and the Shanghai Science and Technology Venture Capital Fund. That milestone pushed CL's valuation beyond $1 billion, officially making it the first unicorn in the skateboard chassis sector. The company had already completed much of the R and D in-house before opening its doors to outside investors, so the new capital wasn't to start from scratch, it was to scale. Cattle's approach was pragmatic. Rather than promising magical body swaps, the company positioned its skateboard as a reliable, customizable foundation for automakers. The goal was simple – reduce engineering time, lower warranty risks, and standardize battery safety and performance. For a car maker, this means they could focus solely on designing the exterior and interior, while KTL handled the complex underpinnings. 
engineering that reduces risk. Why would an automaker choose someone else's chassis? The answer is efficiency and reliability. Building an EV from scratch is expensive. It requires years of engineering, testing, and warranty support. Batteries, being the heart of an EV, are also the riskiest component. Cattle's chassis solves that problem by letting automakers outsource the hardest parts, battery integration, power management, and safety systems to experts who already dominate the field. If something goes wrong with the battery, CL would likely replace the entire skateboard rather than individual cells, drastically simplifying service logistics. It's an approach similar to how Tesla replaces entire drive units rather than opening them up for repairs. The result is less downtime and consistency. From a manufacturing perspective, this model allows automakers to build more vehicles with fewer engineering hours. It's like cutting the development cycle in half. Instead of spending eight blocks of time to make one model, they could build two. That flexibility is especially valuable in a fast-moving EV market, where speed often determines success. Proving safety and strength. Cattle knew that skepticism was inevitable. So before unveiling its prototype, the company conducted a series of safety and stress tests to prove its design could handle real-world abuse. The chassis survived a 120 km per H frontal collision with a pole about 65 miles per hour without catching fire, exploding, or suffering thermal runaway. That's 4.66 times more energy than the standard Chinese NACP test requires. The platform uses LFP, lithium iron phosphate chemistry, known for its thermal stability and long lifespan. This chemistry also aligns with CATL's sustainability goals, as it avoids rare metals like cobalt. By demonstrating that the entire platform could remain intact and safe under extreme conditions, Cattell effectively silenced critics who doubted the feasibility of a modular EV architecture. The implications are huge. Imagine a world where every small automaker, from niche sports car brands to delivery fleet startups, could order a pre-certified skateboard chassis and build their own vehicles on top of it. The safety and performance foundation would already be handled, leaving them free to innovate above the wheels. A market already lining up. The excitement isn't theoretical. Companies like Avatar and SAIC, Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation, have already expressed interest. SAIC's involvement as both investor and manufacturer could give CL an immediate path to large-scale production. These partnerships demonstrate the growing appetite for shared EV infrastructure in China's rapidly evolving automotive ecosystem. The appeal goes beyond cost. It's about collaboration. In China, automakers are far more comfortable sharing production lines, designs, and technology. Major electronics firms like Huawei and Xiaomi, for example, design their cars, but outsource manufacturing to state-run factories. These partnerships allow faster scaling without the heavy investment of building entire factories from scratch. This cooperative model contrasts sharply with the West, where companies like Tesla and Rivian prefer full control over design and production. While that independence allows for innovation, it also slows down new model rollouts. If companies like Rivian could simply license their designs to established automakers for production, vehicles like the R2 or R3 might already be on the road today. Lessons from the past. The idea of shared platforms isn't new, but its implementation has always been limited by pride and policy. Many American and European car makers suffer from what engineers call not invented here syndrome. They'd rather build slowly in-house than adopt an external system, even if it's better or cheaper. But China's ecosystem works differently. Local governments such as Shanghai or Beijing often operate massive state-owned manufacturing facilities. These factories can produce cars for multiple brands simultaneously, maintaining efficiency and regional pride. For KTL, this structure is a perfect match. It can mass-produce the skateboard chassis and deliver them to various partners, who then build localized models on top. 
Each car can look different, but under the surface, the same proven technology drives them all. It's a scalable and modular approach that could revolutionize how EVs are made globally. Will it be enough? So is $280 million enough to make this vision a reality? Probably. CL had already invested heavily in research and infrastructure before bringing in external funds. The new capital gives it the flexibility to expand production, secure more suppliers, and strengthen partnerships with automakers like Avatar and SAIC. More importantly, KTL already has a reputation for delivering. It's the world's leading battery producer, supplying giants like Tesla and BMW. That credibility gives its skateboard project a level of trust no startup could match. It's not an experiment, it's an extension of proven expertise. If successful, CEATTL could become the backbone of dozens of future EV brands, much like Intel became the standard inside most computers. It's a bold step toward an era where vehicle manufacturing is faster, safer, and far more flexible than ever before. Conclusion The EV skateboard has gone from a wild idea to an achievable innovation. With CATL and CL leading the charge, supported by major investors and automakers, the dream of a universal electric platform might finally come true. It's efficient, modular, and surprisingly practical. By rethinking how cars are built, starting from the ground up, this approach could reshape the entire auto industry. The future of electric vehicles might not be about one brand winning over another, but about shared technology powering them all. And this time, the wheels beneath the dream are already in motion.